हाई फ्रेंड्स टूडे लेट इज डिस्कस न्यूरल नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर हम हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर आर देर एंड हाउ दी न्यूरल नेटवर्क विल बी फ्रेम टू गेट दी प्रॉपर आउटपुट एंड वॉट आर दी सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सो मेनी लेयर्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो बेसिकली दी टाइप्स ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर देर आर two types of architectures available one is feed forward network second one is feed back networks in feed forward networks the information is coming from left side to right side or we can say from input to output and in feed back networks even the same thing is happening in feed back network also the input the information is transferred from input to output and the output is again giving as input sometimes there is no input at all and simply the output is feeding back as input to other neurons so that's the case that's the difference between feed forward networks and feed back networks in feed forward networks there are two types one is single layer network second one is multi layer network in feed back networks also there are two types single layer network and multi layer network okay let us see all these things one by one first let us discuss single layered feed forward network here there are two layers one is input layer and second one is output layer but still we are simply calling it as single layered feed forward network because in input layer naturally we call input layer the items in the input layer are called naturally input nodes instead of input neurons because in in these input items or input nodes there is no computation happening in input nodes they are simply the information from the other neurons or the sensor sensory organs so that's why those are not called as neurons and they are simply called as nodes so in input layer i have only input nodes similarly in output layer i have neurons output neurons because here these you no know, round round blue colored things round one blue, blue colored things are neurons output neurons because in output neurons all computations has been done that means maybe we can multiply weighted inputs some of the weighted inputs and we will we will transform the net input or the induced uh, the net input to activation function and we will get some output so these things these complete computation has been done in the output layer output neurons but not in the input layer so here we can simply say that if even though there are two layers visible to us input layer and output layer there is one layer is responsible for the complete computations so that's why this is called single layered feed forward network so even though two layers are present the computation happens in only one layer that's output layer that's why this is called single layered feed forward network here and the other items are simply we can see here the input signals are there and naturally called as stimulus and output signals are there naturally called as response so from input signals there are information is com coming from other neurons or some other sensory organs and the information is processed to output layer and all the information from all the nodes will multiplied with weights corresponding weights and some of them will be given to the corresponding new neurons and the neuron will take up the things and according to activation function the output will come out so this is the what actually happens in the single layered feed forward network and the uh, uh, naturally the output signals are the corresponding responses for, from the all the neurons so this is the explanation for single layered feed forward network now let us move on to multi layered feed forward network in multi layer feed forward network there are some hidden layers are there in between input layer and output layer so here in first hidden layer neurons are present in the second hidden layer the neurons are present and the third hidden layer neurons are present 
that means here I have so many layers who are having the computational items or computational neurons that's why I can call this as multi-layered feed forward network okay so here as it is visible to us input signals are given from the from input layer so all these are called input nodes and each each weights are shown in one color from node 1 from input node 1 red colored things are going and from input node 2 green color things are going maybe they are the synaptic weights and yellow color is shown differently and even purple color is shown differently so in this manner the process is going on so obviously we know that from input layer input signals are coming some process has been done at first hidden layer in the neurons of first hidden layer and after this some outputs have come up and these outputs will become inputs for the second hidden layer this is very important point here the outputs of first hidden layer provides the input for the second hidden layer and then in second hidden layer also according to the activation function the the computation will be going on and the output will be generated and the output of second hidden layer will be the input for the output layer and finally the outputs are coming up according to the activation function used in the output layer so this is the explanation for multi-layered feed forward network and no there is no connection from right side layer to left side layer that means the information cannot pass from right side layer to left side layer that's why this is called feed forward network so always the information is going towards right side only and so these are the explanation for multi-layered feed forward network and the next one is single layered feedback networks here you can see here there is no input there is no output at all you can take output from anywhere and you can provide input from anywhere sorry input to anywhere so here there are one layer is there so this is called single layered feedback network and only one layer is there after the output of the first layer is processed through unit delay operator and then it, it is fed back to second neuron third neuron and fourth neuron you can see the complete explanation from red red colored line okay the from first neuron red color line has been started the output of the first colored line first color first neuron is red colored one okay and the red colored output is processed through unit delay operator and it is given to the other neurons but not the same neuron so this is the basic concept of feedback network here the output of each neuron is providing the input for the all other neurons and similarly for the second neuron the green color is taken up and it is processed through unit delay operator and it is given to first neuron third neuron and fourth neuron similarly the case with the third output of third output of third neuron i mean output of the third neuron it is blue in color and processed through unit delay operator and given to first neuron second neuron and fourth neuron similarly the yellow color one it is processed through unit delay operator and given to first neuron second neuron and third neuron so this is the complete structure of single layered feedback network here there is no need of inputs also we can we can simply take the we can simply assume the weights and simply assume some bias and then the process has been started once the process has been started the neurons will get the inputs from the output of the other neurons and then it will be sustained so that is the case with single layered feedback network and coming to the next um, fourth fourth architecture multi-layered feedback network in this case the inputs are shown simply the inputs are shown 
the outputs can be taken from any of these things before unit delay operator just below the unit delay operator maybe i can take it from red ink and green color also but i haven't shown here that was missed here i'm extremely sorry and coming to this the output is same thing here also same thing the output of each neuron is provided as input to other neurons and the inputs are also connected fr from what maybe from the other neurons or other sensory organs to each and every neuron in this way so you can see the same thing in black color and also purple color i have used two colors here for two inputs the first one is black colored input and it is given to all the four neurons and purple colored input and it is given to all the four neurons so this is the structure of multi layered feedback network here we can we can call the green color one as one more layer and this this these things are called other layers other this is other layer so this is called multi layered feedback network so this this is the difference between multi layered feedback network and single layered feedback network so these are the complete explanation for the neural network architectures thank you for 300 plus subscriptions for my youtube channel if you like this video please like it if you like to share this video to your friends please share it if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and try to try to press on the bell button so that you will get my upcoming videos i like to complete all neural networks and fuzzy logic things as per uh, as per jntu kapinada artificial intelligent techniques for final years neural network and fuzzy logic fuzzy logic for third year students i like to complete each and every topic in these two courses so if anyone is interested so please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and get benefit out of it thank you thank you one and all